Hi, welcome to my channel, Marianne here. It is Wednesday, March 20th. I did go to my WW meeting and I did weigh in. I was pleasantly surprised. They gave me my Fifteen pound charm, and I'm now down sixteen point eight as of today. And my weight loss for the week was one point four pounds, bringing me at my WW meeting at one ninety point eight. So I'm almost in the one eighties. I am on the weight. I'm in the one eighties at home in the morning before I go to the meeting because I'm not wearing shoes and all that stuff. But uh, I'm, I'm hoping to get in the 180s next week. So it was nice that they gave me my charm. Um, because I hit the 15 last week, but I think it takes a day, I don't know. It doesn't just like bounce up. It, it bounced up. She asked me this morning, did you get your 15 pound charm? And I said, no, I saw it in the app. But I kind of thought there wasn't one coming till it was 25 pounds. But you get it for every 5 pounds until you get to 25 pounds. So that's kind of nice. I think it kind of keeps your momentum going. And why was I surprised that I lost 1.4? Because there was a couple days last week where I bought a big bag of tortilla chips at Costco. And at first I weighed it the ounce and got one little mini avocado cup, a uh, guacamole cup. So it should have been six points. But then I went back in and brought the bag over here and I was eating and eating and eating, and I don't know, I was thinking that night, that was, oh, when was that? I guess it was, I guess it was Sunday, yeah, I was off Sunday, so I was just kicking around, and I was too tired to take a walk, I didn't even take my walk that day, I missed my walks last week, because I was going to walk after work, but those three days, we got a rainstorm, like thunderstorm on uh, Saturday. I was going to stay, and we got a thunderstorm when I was getting off. I mean, why? Why? I got wet by the time I got to my car the on the Friday night. Uh, or was that? Or maybe it was just two times. The two times I planned to walk after work. Yeah, it was two times because it was raining a little bit. I think, was it yesterday? And it was like sprinkling, but I wasn't going to walk after work because I was closing the park. Or was I closing the park Saturday? I don't remember, but it was two days that I couldn't go because it was raining. Um, I didn't, I should start writing this stuff down. So I think I only got one walk in. Uh, maybe two. Maybe one. Maybe two. I did, uh, but... My point is, I, I like to weigh myself almost every day, So, I, but that Sunday night, I, I ate all those chips, and then I was just thinking, well, I could really go for a burger and fries. And I thought about it and thought about it. I would have had to get dressed. Um, but as I was thinking about it, I ate all those chips and some of the Skinny Pop popcorn, the these individual bags. <laughs> Though I ate a couple bags of those and the uh, chips, and I sat there and I thought, and I just kept thinking, I go, you know what? I'm not even hungry. <laughs> Why am I going to go get a burger and fries? In fact, I didn't even eat dinner Sunday night because I ate enough chips and popcorn to where I wasn't even hungry. There was no need for it. So I didn't go. Uh, but I got up Monday morning, and I was up three pounds. I'm like, Wow. And so then Monday, after work, I was thinking, oh, I think I'll go get that burger and fries. <laughs> and, uh, I got, it's about a 50-minute drive home from work, and I kept thinking about that half a chicken breast I had in the refrigerator, and it was the last day to use it. You know, they only recommend, like, about three days in the refrigerator. So I had that half a chicken breast, and when I'm on my way home, thinking about that burger and fries, I was also negotiating and thinking about that chicken breast, and that chicken who died who could to feed me, and uh, I'm going to go get a burger. 
I mean, that's some of my past history habits of just wasting what I prepared or bought to have intentionally eat well and then go to fast food on the way home because I'm too lazy to cook it. Or not too lazy, I would say too tired. Just tired. But, uh... So Monday night, I didn't go get the burger and fries. I came home and made my, my tacos in the little uh, 25 calorie uh, tortilla, corn tortillas. And they were good. I really enjoyed them. I didn't need the burger and fries. I enjoyed my tacos. So, and then Tuesday, which was yesterday, I didn't have to be at work until 3 o'clock. So I got up, had a little breakfast, and made my... I decided I'm going to have salad before I go to work because I had to leave like 1.30. I, uh, I took my walk. Okay, so I got my walk in even though I had to work yesterday. I did it before I ate my lunch to go to work. So I took the time to go out for an hour and take a walk. Got that done, and I think I think I was motivated because I woke up yesterday morning and the weight came off yesterday morning. So that fluctuation, that's why if we're up like in the middle of the week or something, I mean, this wasn't at the middle of the week. This was Monday, and I weigh in on Wednesday. I didn't starve myself yesterday. Um... But I did take my walk because I was like, oh, the weight's down. I'm not going to give up. <laughs> so I took my walk, came home. I think for breakfast I just had cottage cheese and fruit, the fat-free cottage cheese and some blackberries. And then I made my salad for lunch. So I had a nice big salad before I went to work with chicken breast and the Bolt House Farm dressings. This comes to like six, about six points or seven points. I don't know. Depends what I put in it. And uh, I'm kind of tired because I didn't get home till like midnight last night. After midnight was like almost 12:30, and I tried to stay up and watch General Hospital. And I had to get up at seven so I could take a shower and have coffee and get to my WW meeting. But anyway, I just made some some soup for dinner, and then I just had a popcorn when I came home, and so I. Went on the scale, and I was down. So I thought that this week was going to be my first gain. I went back to WW on January 10th, and I thought this was... I had one week where I was exactly the same, but I haven't had a gain yet. And I thought this week I was going to have a gain. But you know what? I didn't go have that. And it wasn't even about diet mentality that I was thinking about skipping that burger and fries. It was guilt about the chicken. And wasting food, and, you know, that was a live chicken who died so I could eat. So, I mean, that's not right. <laughs> and it's not, it's not good to waste food when there's people who, you know, we have plenty of food here still in America. And there's people around the world that they don't have that half a piece of chicken. So, I, and I enjoyed it. But it's not the diet mentality. What was, what was my train of thought? Oh, it was just the fact that uh, the red meat and the... You know, a greasy a burger with tomatoes and all that stuff and fried foods. Since I've come back to the WW and I haven't been overstuffing myself, except for a couple. I mean, the couple times I've had the munchies, I wasn't overstuffed. But I realized that I didn't need to eat anymore or actually have dinner on those days because I wasn't hungry. Um, I'm actually using my brain and connecting it with my body. Uh, but it was more, I didn't want, I just, the, when I was thinking about that burger and fries, I started thinking about the acid reflux. <laughs> like, really didn't want to have that. I, I really don't want to revert to that because it's so uncomfortable. But anyway, so the weekly this week is about um, making our healthy habits easier. And like thinking about things that we want to stop doing. Um, you know, like being, you know, get ourselves out of the way. Get things out of the way that are stopping us from success. Um, so how do we how do we stop doing it? What can we do? Like putting things in the back of the pantry, like my tortilla chips. I mean, it doesn't have to be so drastic as to not buy them, but 
maybe single portion them out and only grab those bags. Um, I know you can buy single portion bags, but not of these tortilla chips. They don't sell these single portion. These are the restaurant style, you know, like tortilla strips, tortilla chips. They're so good. I mean, to me, they're good. But um, yeah, what could I do? For me, I'd have to put them in individual Ziploc baggies to just grab that. But you know, I could tend to go back and get more. So today I bought carrot chips and I've been notorious for buying those carrot chips and not ever opening the bag. And I was thinking instead of dipping the tortilla chips this week in those single serve guacamole, I'm gonna, I don't know if it's any good, I haven't tried it yet. I'm gonna try to dip the carrot chips in there and see how that goes. See if that kind of helps my chip dilemma. Um, anyway, so we have to think of ways to, um, what can we do, what action can we take to stop doing the things that are getting in our way? So that's the type of thing. Oh, what kind of things do you want to stop doing? And how, what could you do to stop doing it? Or, you know, brainstorm some ideas. Give us some ideas. Give me some ideas. How can I stop eating those chips and going back for more? Uh, put it in the comments below. Um, I think, you know, I I don't expect to be perfect because when I say not buying the tortilla chips, nothing is off limits on the Weight Watcher plan. You just have to limit how much of it you eat on the plan. I mean, everything has its point value and measurement to those points. So nothing's off limits, but you do have to. There are some things where you have to limit the portion that you're having. Even if it's a zero point food, I can't eat, you know, five pints of fat free cottage cheese and think I'm going to lose weight. Uh, I mean, if that's all I ate for the day, but you know what I mean. Just sit there and binge on cottage cheese in the morning. Uh, that's not going to do me any good. Everything is good in its own moderate portion way. Anyway, if you have any ideas, please comment below. Thank you for watching. Give me a like, thumbs up, and I'll see you next week.